Hello, hello, Merry Christmas. Today it is December 25th in the U.S., so welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, it is day fifth of the Ugly Art Club five-minute challenge, so hashtag T-U-A-C five-minute challenge. Make sure you're searching that on Instagram or using that hashtag when you're posting so we can see what you're up to. And... Um, you know, the founders of the Ugly Art Club, Tiffany Goff-Smith, Kristen Peterson, and myself, we run the Ugly Art Club Instagram, we run the Ugly Art Club Facebook group, both of which, you know, you have access to absolutely free of charge. We just want to encourage people to make more art. Um, and so if you're using those hashtags and you're tagging us, uh, we can see your stuff and then when we comment and share it and post it, like, it's actually us. It's us. Just the three of us running this little old club. So, uh, yeah, become a part. Become a participating member. And um, we would love to interact with you on social media. Uh, today's prompt, number five, is white out. Oh, and again, I want to say the prompts, you can get the prompts if you go to the link in the description box or my Instagram profile that says free challenge prompts. Um, and they are absolutely free. Like you're not paying for access to them. You just sign up via the free teachable classroom and then they're right there ready for you to download. Uh, but you don't have to use them either. We really, really do just encourage you to do some art making, to find five minutes, even if it's not with the prompts or maybe it's with the prompts, but without the elements, or maybe you're inspired by the color on the elements and not the words, whatever it may be. We just want you to make more art. So this prompt is white out. I am starting with a manila tag on this one. I am doing the fronts and backs of tags. So the front is one day, the back is the next, and then I move on to the next tag. And I'm uh, cycling through, alternating between a manila tag and a craft tag. So I'm having a lot of fun on these. It's a size five tag. I'm enjoying working on this size, and I think that it fits in the five minutes really well. Um, yesterday I talked about having kind of like a set selection of supplies that is really aiding me as well. So make sure you've watched day four's video if you haven't yet. Um, but I started with the tag and then I did a little bit of collage. I glued down some ledger paper that I have. I glued down some tissue paper that has some text on it. It's very newsprinty tissue paper. It's left over from my indexed kit. Um, and I glued down, oh, a, a piece of that paper bag from day two when it was brown bag it. So I, I'm keeping these, these sort of pieces hanging out um, to coordinate between the tags and, and keep them going, you know, keep them complementary. <clears throat> then I dug around in my vintage postage stamps and came across this stamp uh there's three in a row and they're mostly white which I thought was really cool for white out oh I forgot to say and then I did some gesso work on top of my collage I did some dry brushing and then some scraping with my palette knife then I dried that and then came back and had these postage th this postage strip from my vintage stamp selection and um I stitched that with my machine. I almost never, <clears throat> excuse me, I almost never film sewing at my sewing machine because it's set up in a very permanent spot that I can just go to do my sewing and then come back to my main art desk. It's something that I use in 90% of my projects. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I uh, woke up with a little bit of, of a cold or the flu or something this morning, but, um, so anyway, the, the, my sewing machine is set to the side and I almost never film actually sewing, <clears throat> but I do have a course hosted on Tiffany Goff Smith's website, um, Southern Gals Creative Academy, Creative Network. I'm so sorry that I don't have that down. I'll figure that out. I'll link to it in the description box. Um, but it's all about stitching and making a piece of artwork that it's called All Wound Up. And it's all about a, a very long piece of artwork that winds around a, a spool of some sort. And it's very cool. And I really love it. Um, anyway, so I stitched. And then I came in with a paintbrush. And I, I really love covering up people's eyes. It's just something that I, I enjoy doing. I think it has a lot of meaning behind it. 
So I use my a really small paintbrush and some fluid acrylic and carbon black to stripe across the eyes on these postage stamps. And then I did a little bit of splattering and to, to draw some black around the tag. And then I stapled on my whiteout prompt. I did trim it up. It was a little bit big for this particular tag for me. Uh, so I stapled it on and then I used my finger and some gesso to dull it back a little bit. The blue was very bright. Um, and then I'm just coming in with my Micron pen and I am putting some dots, but I chose because I have these delicious splatters. I didn't want my like a polka dot background to take away from the splatters. So I chose a really small Micron. And in fact, you can't even really see it as I'm doing it right now in the video. Maybe if it's a little bit bigger on your screen, you can. But in the close-up shots, you can see just how small they are. But they add so much goodness. Uh, here's what the elements look like. All 14 prompts plus the additional extra 15th one, if you find. Here are the final shots. There, now you can see that polka dot background. It's really small and really cute. And I only did it in, like, the very high manila areas, not where there was gesso. And here's some more information on the five-minute challenge. So you're invited to join us. See you on Instagram.